Hi everybody, this is Carrie Gans with Twitter our, uh, our blog for to teach you how to use YouTube, WordPress, and um, uh, YouTube, YouTube Word and Twitter. Uh, it's early in the morning here in New York. Um, to integrate them, automate them, and monetize them uh, to make some money and to build your online business. That's what Twitter Writer is all about, the internet trifecta, the integration of YouTube, Twitter, and WordPress, and we use WordPress as our platform. I'm also the developer and um, owner of NewbieRewards.com, which is a website where you can go ahead and find thousands, if not tens of thousands, of ebooks and software products, PLR products, video courses on just about everything you can think of. There are free silver and platinum members. Sign up for free, or I hope you'll eventually become a silver and platinum member. So that's it, TwitterWrite.com and NewbieRewards.com. The other day on TwitterWrite, I wrote a post about pop-ups. Now, um, I am not a big believer in pop-ups. I think sometimes they become intrusive, they become difficult uh, for visitors to, uh, to take, and they can be a bit overwhelming. So I wrote a, pop, uh, a, a little post about pop-ups. Do you really need them, and what are the advantages, disadvantages, that kind of thing? Well, I got a bunch of emails saying, well, you know, pop-ups are not necessarily a bad thing. They do point the eyeballs of your visitor where you want the eyeballs to go. And depending on how you use it, where you use it, and what you're using it for, it can be a very, uh, very important part of your marketing plan. Now, people use pop-ups for all kinds of things. One of the most common is to give away something and to uh, try to get people to give you their name and email address so that you can, they can become part of your uh, online community. Now, I think that has validity. I think that's very important. So um, that's what we're all looking to do. The whole purpose of the Internet, as far as I'm concerned, is to build an online community. Uh, it's not, you don't force people to do it. It should all be ethical. It should be modest. It should provide great content. Provide it often. Do the best you can. Uh, provide great customer service. And um, that's the nature of what the Internet should be. Now, is it that way? No, of course not. But we hope that you'll find that Twitter right and that Newbie Rewards are built around that premise. Sure, I'd like you to sign up from, uh, and become a part of my community. I'd like to interact with you. I'd love you to interact with me by commenting, sending me emails, responding to my emails. Uh, that's what makes this fun. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's a very dry business, and the Internet can be that way. Anyway, so I got a bunch of emails telling me that you know, pop-ups are not a bad thing. Any ideas of how to use them? So I was looking around, poking around yesterday, and I found if I've, uh, I like free. One of the uh, important parts of the Internet trifecta is that the products, for the most part, not all of them, but for the most part, are free, especially WordPress, Twitter, and YouTube. Okay? A lot of the plugins for WordPress are also free, and here's an example. It's called the Max Blog Press Unblockable Pop-Up version 2.0.7. So if you want a real simple pop-up, easy to, easy to, uh, to um, put together, the settings are really no big deal, and it's free, what you're going to first do is go over to Max, whoops, where did I put it? Hold on, i got to find it for you guys. Well, anyway, you're going to go over to the Max Blog Press uh, blog, and you're going to download the unblockable pop-up. Once you've done that, and you activate it, so you're going to download the zip file, you're going to go to your plugins to add new, you're going to go to um, upload, you're going to click on Browse, find where you are, wherever you downloaded it, and you're just going to install it. Then you activate the plugin. Now, on the left-hand side of your uh, WordPress administration screen, you're going to see somewhere under Settings, MVP Unblockable Pop-Up. Clicking on that will give you this screen of settings. Really not very complicated. There's a default or a simple box. I left it as default. That's going to denote what your pop-up is going to look like. The second thing you want to do is put in a title for your pop-up. This is going to show in the title bar of the pop-up. It's like a little miniature um, website screen. Then in the, this little text editor, you're going to write whatever you want in the text. Now you can put in just using the text editor, or you can put in HTML by clicking this button. So if you know how to write some HTML and you want to put in something fancy, by all means, go ahead and, and do it. But this pretty much gives you the ability within this a little text editor to add images, to create links, you can do all kinds of stuff in here. So what I've basically done is what you see right here. Wait, make sure you get your free copy of our 56-page ebook, The Internet Trifecta. And I found a little GIF file, animated GIF in here to, to point. Now, what I really want to do is get lots and lots of people reading my book. 
I spent lots of hours putting it together. Um, it's, in my mind, a great primer to learn what the Internet Trifecta is all about. And it, it teaches you, one, how to set up your WordPress blog from, from the very beginning. It then walks you through YouTube. It walks you through Twitter. gives you an idea how to integrate these three. Why it's so important and so important for your business to integrate them. And why I believe it's a relatively new concept in Internet marketing. It also lists all the plugins. Now, it's not up to date because I have a bunch more that I, I'm, I'm going to be putting in there as soon as I get a chance to do it. But once again, I wanted people to, to sign up. That's why I put it there. So I created this little pop-up that's going to do that. Now, you can go ahead. There are other settings. You can go through them. You can show the pop-up at, at specific times. Every time the page is loaded, once, uh, only one time until the browser is closed, every three days, whatever. So it's not as obtrusive or intrusive. You can change the colors and the size. I made it blue because that's what my site looks like. That changes basically the title bar, but you can change the height of the pop-up, all that. So if you want a real big pop-up, you can make it, this is 200 pixels, you can make it 500. You can change all the background colors. Just click on this little square. You don't need to know the hexadecimal code. Just click on this little box and it gives you this uh, screen. You can have the effects. Now I have the light, light box. So you can click on the effects box and you'll see that it gives you, you have a simple one, a fading one, which means it shows and then fades, um, or you can put a light box, which really dulls out the background and brings your pop-up up. You'll see what it looks like in a minute. And then if you just want to disable the pop-up, you click here. Now, the first time you uh, set this pop-up up, it's going to ask you to register with your name and email address. It's free, so you're giving Max Blog Press uh, a chance to send you some emails. Now, I've gotten a couple that have been very informative, so I'll stick with it. You can always unsubscribe. At the same thing, by the way, when you go ahead and get the Internet Trifecta. I will be sending you some emails about things I find, such as what you see here. If you don't want any more, just unsubscribe. It's as simple as all that. But every day there's something new and exciting that comes out. And uh, I get a kick out of trying it. You can see on the left side here uh, all the plugins I've set up. I mean, I set up tons of them. Uh, I deactivate a lot because some of them just don't work. This happens to work, Okay. So now there's my pop-up. That's what I want it to look like. Now to show you what it looks like, it looks like that. Now you can see the arrow pointing over to the right side of the screen. Okay, that's where I want you to go ahead and sign up for, my, uh, for the Internet Trifecta. So it says, wait, make sure you get your free copy. Now that's all there is to it. It's really a very simple uh, plug-in, and it works. You can see here it works. And um, go ahead, go over to maxblogpress.com. You may have to search around somewhere. There's a search feature in there. Just type the word pop-up in it, uh, or um, it'll, and it'll find it for you. Uh, I did have the URL somewhere, but if I can, if I can I'll put it right below me here. Uh, as soon as this, so you watch the video, you won't have to go find it yourself. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now, the next video I'm going to do will show you how to do this. And now that's real cool. So we'll show you how to do that. It's a page peel, but we'll show you how to do that. That's going to cost you a couple of dollars. Um, there are free versions of that. You can check in the plugins. I couldn't get them to work. Now, maybe uh, it may be my theme that's stopping it. It may just be me, but I could not get them to work. But this page peel, with a little bit of effort, as you can see, it works. I put my own custom design in here. And if you want, while you're here, if you're on my on Twitter, right, click on that. It'll take over Newbie Rewards, and there are still free memberships available. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, video, and I uh, hope to see you again at TwitterWrite.com. Have a great and wonderful day.